Hi Taurus, this is Tanya Lee of Harmonia and welcome to your general reading for March 2021. If you are new to the channel and feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that bell twice, okay? So you can get notified of all future updates. And welcome back to my regular subscribers. Thanks guys so much for being here. Much appreciation. Um, I just I just want to give you guys a big thank you. And I, I didn't do this for all the signs. I got to do this for everybody. I probably got to put a post out. But um, I've just gotten such an influx of people. If you guys just your kindness, your words, your comments, it's all very it's a little overwhelming, but it's also very inspiring to see that you guys are really utilizing these as a guide or a tool to help heal. And that's really what these are. I mean, it's really to help you to help heal. So when every time someone says spot on to me, it's really you guys who are spot on because we just happen to match in vibration and you were able to pull the messages that you needed. Okay. So yeah, so thanks. And I just, you know, like I said, this, this channel has, um, you know, it just keeps growing and it keeps becoming its own thing. So Let's just get going, all right? We're gonna start off with some Oracle cards, guys, and then we're gonna get into the tarot spread. It's the beginning, the middle, and the end. I try not to say the beginning, middle, end of the month anymore because honestly, time is fluid. Some of you, this is, I'm posting these a little bit earlier. Some of you are actually going to ha go through this experience now or have been. Um, others of you may be a little bit down the road. So yes, utilize your own intuition here and do not force anything to fit. If the reading's not for you, it's not for you. It's really that simple, okay? Don't have to go on about it, <laughs> okay? All right, let's get started, Taurus, calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters as to what messages we have for Taurus for March. What messages do we have for Taurus? <laughs> well, three fell out, and I'm going to take it. I usually only take two, but they flew out, so I'm like, all right. Taurus, good news. You got answers coming. You got answers. I think that many of you have been really waiting on answers. And here's what's interesting. You have next to answers about, it's, a lot of it's about prosperity, about the riches and desires of things coming in fruition. But here's what's interesting that's next to prosperity. You have beauty. You have beauty. I really feel for many of you, Taurus, this feels like you guys have mastered self-love. This means that, you see how she's looking into a mirror here? You have looked, the lighting kind of be crazy on these cards, so I'm going to step it back a little bit. There we go. You have really looked at within and at yourself, okay? That's like shadow work. That's like going into the nitty gritty. It's the trauma. It's the inner child work. It's reflecting and not attaching to it not becoming woe is me. It's like you went through it and you took it as a lesson and you said, okay, but you know what? I'm still going to put my makeup on. I'm still going to get ready. Okay. And if you're a guy, you're not putting, maybe makeup's not your thing, but it's like, I'm still going to get ready. I'm still going to put, you know, put my favorite outfit on or make myself and I'm going to still look good. I'm still going to look good. Right. And I feel many of you, it's like you didn't sweat it anymore. You weren't sweating the small stuff. And I feel that's when the answers start coming in. I feel for a lot of you, all the stuff of when is it going to happen? What's happening? Why can't I get a new start? It's like you let go of all of it. I don't even have to look at the tarot cards. I just feel it. I just feel for many of you, you let go of it all. You focused on you. And there's something really beautiful that I feel is, is coming out of here. But let's see what the tarot cards have to say. What additional messages spirit do we have here? Here we go. Stopping here. Four of air, eight of water, seven of fire, uh huh, ten of fire. Middle of the month, we have the star reversed, the six of water, transformation reversed, the six of earth. Interesting. High priestess energy, uh huh, uh huh. Magician, I knew it. <laughs> Three of earth reversed. And the 10 of air. What's the overall energy here? Oh my gosh. What did I tell you? Fire energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ace of Fire, Ace of Wands. New freaking beginning. It's passionate. It's it's your desires. This is what you've been wanting for quite some time, waiting for. I feel like many of you have been literally sitting and waiting for this to happen, okay? Yeah, literally waiting. 
Look at the temptation here. It's like, I feel like I've one of my riches. When am I going to get them? When, when is it going to come in for me? When am I going to get this? When am I going to get this? When am I going to get my heart desires here? When am I going to get the abundance here? Okay. I mean, there's, there's so many different things of what you want or the answers, how to get it. And some of you, it is, it's just trying to get the answers to get it. You let it all go. Right. I know you did because with the four of air, four of four of swords and the eight of water, cups energy here. This is all about emotions and communication. Okay. But with the four of swords, it's about rest and reflect. And I feel that many of you did the resting, did the reflecting and you got in the boat and you said, you know what? I emotionally am letting this go. I'm emotionally not going to sit there and just wait for it anymore. Okay. Many of you, it's like, because cups are all about emotions. It's all about feelings, love, desires, passions. If you feel it here in the heart, could have been dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it really feels to me, especially here with the little treasure chest and I'm an intuitive reader guys. So when I see this, it's like some of you thought, some of you, because usually it's somebody walking away, but do you see how somebody's here with a treasure and someone else went away? Some of you thought that you had the golden pot and you decided to leave it because it's not exactly the prosperity that you were looking for. And it was not emotionally easy to leave this person because you thought you could grow with this individual. You thought you were going to be in a stable situation with this individual. But the truth of the matter is it was very guarded. It was very destructive. You had to have high boundaries with this person. Could have been a fire sign here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But the Ten of Fire is about Ten of Wands, which is burdens. But in this card, on these cards, and they, they want me to pick these this deck for a reason for March. I look at this and it's bur it's literally burning the burdens away. You, you are basically having your boundaries set. You left a situation that no longer served you, put the boundaries up, and said no more. No more. Now here's what's interesting. The middle of the month, we have the star here. Now the star is really a healing card. It is reversed here, but a 17 that comes to an 18, or 17 that comes to an eight. Obviously I can't count. Comes to an eight. Eight is about abundance, okay? This is reverse. Many of you, I feel, by leaving situation, you're just feeling a lack of, maybe a lack of a relationship, not finding something new. Maybe the lack of healing, right? But maybe the lack of the wishes and desires, like, you know what, I didn't get the answers that I was seeking or what I needed here. But with the six of waters, the six of cups, this is about, this is soulmate energy, but it's about the past. Many of you are reflecting about the past. Wondering why things didn't transform out the way that they were supposed to with this individual. This person that you left was a soulmate. If you didn't leave a, per, a soulmate or, or, you know, a person, this could have been anybody. It could have been a friend. It could have been, you know, work, coworker or something. You did leave a situation or a person, okay? It doesn't have to always be romance. But the point of it is, is I feel like you're still mid month because you left the situation is you're reflecting on it. You're reflecting a lot on it. You're reflecting on the fact that it never transformed into something really seeking the answers of where your dreams, desires and your passions, but also where your stability is. Many of you, it's like almost being like trying, trying to get through that new start, trying to get that balance. Yeah. With the six of earth, the six of pentacles. This is about getting stability. This is about getting balance. And I feel that many of you did not have this balance with this individual. This person, um, it was not an equal give and take at all. It was not, okay? Many of them had other opportunities here with the stag energy, but to me, really what it's stating to me is that you're just looking to be balanced. You're just looking for things to be even keel, okay? focusing in that level. Look at this high priestess energy. What did I say? Now she, she, 
high priestess. She's the keeper of the secrets, keeping things hidden. Intuitive is all hell. Many of you went within and are going within. Many of you who have been working on yourself, taking care of yourself by doing this, because this form of leaving something, leaving something behind, and guys, keep in mind this new start or what you left, you might have left this person some time ago, okay? Um, this might not be in this energy of this, but you didn't really let go of them. Do you know what I mean? Like you could have left someone, but still been emotionally attached to them or thinking in your head about them and still going, what ifs, what ifs, why didn't it transform? What, like still living the past. This is getting through it. This is basically saying, I can't do this anymore. I got to burn this shit up. I can't do it anymore, right? I'm not going to heal. I'm not going to heal anything if I keep doing that because this was reverse. I, I got to look at this relationship I had and really reflect on what it was doing. What, did, what was it doing for me? What's the benefit of me? I'm hearing some of you have gone as far, and this is, this is, this was actually one of the best advice I ever gave, and I'll pass it on to, some of you have done this already. But really, you looked at the person and the stuff that you valued and loved about them. You took it back and said, why can't I do that for me? So think about it. If there's something, because it's never about the other person. It's about how you feel. It's the feelings you feel for that person. The person could be like, I don't know. I mean, seriously, the person could be a freaking puppy at the point. But it's the feelings that make you feel connected and what you're obsessed with. It's what you feel that's missing, missing in you, right? You all reflected on that. And I feel a lot of you have looked at it in the level of going, why did that person make me feel that way? And then you said, oh, it really wasn't about that. Oh, it's because they did X, Y, and Z. Why can't I do that for me? And it's like you took that back. And once you started doing that, and I feel like you did that by this. Some of you got some psychic help as well, or you were a very intuitive person or psychic yourself and got the guidance of, you know, not just your higher self, but spirit itself. But you took that and you started pulling in the magician energy here. So this is manifesting. And I feel like what you were manifesting are things that that no longer served you anymore, right? So now you're like, okay, I need to manifest something where I am working with someone because the three of earth, three of pentacles was reversed. You don't want to manifest not something that's not working, that's not going to evolve, looking out there, where is it, where is it, where's my person? Where's, where's my, you know, where's my collaboration? Where's somebody helping me if it's not a person? You're letting it go. The 10 of air is the 10 of swords. It's the end of betrayal. You have stopped betraying yourself. This person did betray you. This person hurt you. It was bad. But look, you're blowing it out, out, Taurus. You're like, nope. It wasn't working. I'm gonna manifest something brand spanking new that really is my passion and desire let's see what the after no, after um not after tarot i'm sorry vice versa tarot has to say do not do reversals on the vice versa because it's double-sided cards i don't feel guided to so let's see what the outcome of this is oh yeah here we go one more Oh, this smokes. What's going on here? What's going on here? By doing that, letting go, it's opening whole new opportunities. Some of you are not only relocating or moving, you're moving into something new. This could be a new relationship or you're open to love now. Others of you, you're moving into something that you're passionate and driven about. You're like, you know what? I'm not holding on to that baggage anymore. I'm gonna go for that dream job or I'm gonna go for that dream business I always wanted to start. You have a lot a passion here and I feel like you're gonna be open and communication, like communication is coming in strongly here, but it's all Taurus, it's all air energy here. It's amazing how you go from the 10 of air to the knight of air, the, I'm sorry, yeah, the knight of air, the page of air, and then the, the king, the king of air, which is the king of swords. So you literally have all swords here. 
So it's really amazing. Now you might be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but it's about communication and the truth and being logical. It's like you've matched or balanced your heart and your head at this point. So what are you going after? Well, some of you, you have somebody here who you're going to meet who's been watching you for quite some time here, okay? Like I said, could be an air sign here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But this is about quick communication coming your way. But you have to release something in order to get this. So this opportunity of someone coming out in, um, this person is... Like I said, logical is a true seeker, is authentic, okay? They've been watching you. Now, if this is not love, this is you going after something, like I said, and being very strategic about it and saying, no, I'm really going after what I really want. And I am not going to let anything or allow anything to get in my way. I'm going to be truthful about it. I'm going to be blunt. I'm going to cut all the bullshit out of here. I'm going to keep a watchful eye to make sure nothing returns. I'm hearing nothing returns that does not belong here in my field, right? Like it's, it's quick. I feel like it's like as soon as you let go of something, because of these manifestations that you've created and that you pulled in your intuition here, you are manifesting something huge. Let's see what animal spirit is with you this month. What animal spirit is with Taurus? <laughs> Chameleon spirit, act as if. 14, which is a five, and holy crap, that's all about transformation. Act as if. It's coming. Everything that you have been asking or wanting or desiring knowledge-wise, you have downloaded you're manifesting it and you ha or have the ability to change as though you have it and you have to by having it you have to let go of creating make basically creating room for it so that you can have a brand spanking new beginning wow <laughs> am i letting fear stop me are you experiencing a mountain of fear right now are you stalling freezing or giving up the juicy secret is that you are the boss of fear. You are unstoppable, but it's up to you to see that by taking action. It's up to you to see that within you, to see that. All right, guys, if this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Take care.